In this video, we are going to try a new technique. We're going to bend the gel plate. We're going to create cracks in it. Well, cracks in the paint anyway. We're going to start out by doing a laser image transfer. The image I am using is from my lady collection of laser prints. And we are going to need to let this image transfer dry all the way before we go on to step two. We need to put a coat of paint down here and then we're going to need to let this dry. It doesn't have to be 100% dry but dry enough to put another coat on top of it. Checking to see if the first coat is dry, and it is. So now you can see what we're going to do is bend the gel plate to put cracks in it, but this coat of paint is too thin, so we're going to have to add another coat and then let that dry. I actually let this plate sit overnight. You don't have to let it sit that long, but I just thought I'd share that so you know that you can if you wanted to. Are you ready for the fun part? Now it's time to just pick up your plate and bend it. You see all those cracks developing? It's kind of fun and turn your plate and do cracks. You know, you need to do it opposite. I don't exactly know what I am doing there, but you need to do it that way. That's how you need to do it, like that. <laughs> At this point, you just have fun with it. You can put in as many cracks as you want. You can kind of control where they go as well by where you bend the plate. If you want the cracks more on the outside of the plate or more in the center, you can do that too. What I'm doing here is I'm just cracking the whole thing everywhere. Just experimenting here. The prints that I've done previously, I felt like there weren't enough cracks in there, so now I'm going to go all out and get as many cracks in there as I can. By the way guys, if you like gel plate printing videos, I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. I think I am finishing up with my cracks. And I've noticed that you gotta remember to do the edges. I'm so concentrating on the center that I forget the edges. But it's looking good. Now we need to put on another coat of paint. Now this color is what's gonna show through the cracks. So I am choosing a nice red. I'm going to put that on and then we're going to need to let that dry just enough to put the last coat of paint on. I don't know if you've been counting, but this red is the fourth layer and we still have to put on a fifth layer. Now this layer of paint does not have to be on perfectly. As you can see, I am not getting it on the edges because anything I don't fill in with the red will be filled in with the black, which I think just adds a little extra character to the end picture. This is going to look really, really neat, you guys. Let's take a little peek on the other side, just to see if we can see some of that red come through, and you can. All right, now after this dries, we will add the last layer, which I'm going to choose black. I let that sit for about a minute or two, and now we're going to go in with the black paint. Now remember, anything that did not get filled in with the red paint, 
will get filled in with the black paint. So we're going to put the black paint on. So in this circumstance, we are lifting four layers of paint. So the black paint, you don't want too much on, but if you have too little, it's not going to pick up all those layers. And another very important thing is, when you put down your paper, leave it there, let it dry thoroughly before you lift the print. This is very important. If you don't do that, it won't pick up all the layers and you can have a tendency to rip your paper. Now the paper that I am using, believe it or not, is just um, inkjet laser paper, but it does pick up this print very nicely. I let this dry thoroughly. I mean very, very dry and it is coming up very, very nicely. Hard to get off though. Takes a little work, but I am lifting um, five layers. Well, this turned out wonderfully. Let's take a closer look at it. Can you see all the red cracks in there? Now I think next time I am going to try to do more cracks, try to make the cracks a little bit larger in some areas, especially the outer edge of the gel plate. Leave a comment below if you've ever tried this technique. It is actually really fun to do and I think you can even get more creative with it using different colors and contrasting colors. Well, that's all I have for right now. Thank you for watching, and until next time, bye for now.